Well, from the east, we moved to the west to Carlsbad High School, where they hosted the Ramona Bulldogs. Yes, the Lancers were playing their third straight home game to start the season. Did the Lancers use that home field advantage to get the W? Carrie Bryant has the details. Thanks, Rebecca and Cindy. We are in Lancer territory, where the Bulldogs made their way down to the coast. Both teams were anxious to keep that momentum going and get that second consecutive win. Were the Bulldogs able to tear through that Lancer armor? Let's roll those highlights. Coming off a dominating victory last week against San Diego, it seemed that the Bulldogs were up for a challenge. The Lancers came out ready, but were immediately denied any advancement by the Ramona defensive line until Lancer running back Aaron Dorsett barreled through the left side of the field with a 53-yard run bringing the Lancers first and goal for a one-yard touchdown. 7-0 Lancers. Ramona then battles their way back on offense and is successful with a 35-yard field goal by Tyler Vargas. The Bulldogs threaten to score again, but the Lancers say no way as Dustin Lorenzen picks the ball for a 40-yard line run, ending the first half. The Carlsbad dance team and cheer squad take the field at halftime in hopes for a win. But the Bulldogs come out fierce, scoring a two-yard touchdown by Brandon Nosh, setting the tone for the second half. The Lancers then continue to struggle against Ramona's rock-solid defense, but as they inch into Bulldog territory, we think Carlsbad is going to steal the win with a pass from Christian Chapman into the end zone. But it's incomplete. With the second attempt, the Lancers desperately try to get that last touchdown, but Axis denied when the pass is intercepted by Bulldog defense. Final score, 9-7 Ramona. We snagged a word with Ramona coach Damon Baldwin and asked how significant this win was for the Bulldogs. We're a young team, they're a young team, and, and our kids just sort of fought four quarters, you know. We let that first week game get away from us against Grossmont. We had a 24-7 lead, we only played three quarters. We, so our whole thing is play four quarters, and our kids are showing they can do that. They did it last week against Morrison, but this is a huge win for our program. It's real big. Looks like it's a dog pound for the Lancers and another victory for the Bulldogs. We'll see what happens next week when the Bulldogs face off against the El Camino Wildcats and the Carlsbad Lancers take on the Westview Wolverines. Now back to you, Rebecca and Cindy. Thank you, Carrie. It's a defensive battle out there on Friday night. Yeah, a very good job by the Bulldogs who have already doubled their win total from last year with that win against the Lancers. 